do not adjust your screens. Everything is working as intended unless we get the YouTube processing bug again. But yesterday, this is yesterday's video, by the way, obviously. Uh, there's this on Eleanor. You see this? This, like, little enclave? I was trying to think to myself, what the hell is that? What is that thing? So today, I checked it out. Things are a little bit different. Uh, it's a different color, specifically. It's exactly the same area, but it is a, a different color. And I was like, well, what is this? And then I zoomed in. Now, you can't quite read it in yesterday's video, but... It's the Thracian Embassy. And then the Thracian Embassy own parts of Alanor. Grand Ambassador Malil, the ill-tempered. I don't... I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't really get it. I don't know why they're there. I don't understand it. Um, but what do they actually have? So they just have Dragon Pond. Oh, they've got a couple. Oh, they've got the... I don't know how this has happened. I, I assume someone's made a deal with the Ideal Masters. But apparently they were there last episode. I might go back and watch even further back and sort of see when all of this... This is in the... <laughs> what? Oh, no way. Okay, this one's even cooler because this one is slowed. This one's actually slowed. Why has this happened? Oh, my God. Cult of Malakath? Is this all Orc? No, they just worship Malakath. I don't, look, I don't know what's going on. What's the point? We'll ignore it and not worry about it right now. We've got old gods. I assume those are the Reach gods up here. I just thought we'd look around quick. We've got uh, sort of different... Daedric cults, but more importantly, it's mostly Dragon Cult, and of course, Dwemer. Uh, um, right, well, that's a weird one. So, first things first, welcome back to the Dwemer Contingency. I want to quickly mention that I'm not going to add any more of my own personal modding changes to this save game, because there are things I want to do that I can't do midway through a save. So, for example, I can't add new traits to the game while we're halfway through a save, because it'll mess up every trait in the world. It'll change all the order of it, and everybody will get basically what is essentially random traits just based on the way the game handles those. But there are also certain other things I can't do as well midway through a save game, like certain events. So rather than limiting what the mod can do, I thought it'd be better for you guys and in the long term if instead I sort of draw a line in the sand here, and instead I, I add better features what was intended to the full-blown mod when that is released, uh, probably when the series is finished. Now, not only that, I've, I've, I've received an email from On High. Now, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to say what it, what it involves or anything like that. But let's just say it's come down from, come down from above. Uh, someone who perhaps has a little more, a little more authority over the Elder King's mod than myself. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's a very, it's a very good email. I, I myself was very impressed by what I saw. Not going to spoil it, but I'm just going to say, keep your eyes peeled. Stay tuned because, uh, I've got some, uh, I don't know, juicy content coming up, let's phrase it that way. So, what's the plan for today? Somebody left an incredible comment last episode saying, If you take the Amulet of Kings, can High King Tiber Septim become coronated? I feel like that's a, uh, there's, a, there's a great exp expression we have in the UK, you might have it in America, called nip it in the bud. Uh, which is essentially whereby you stop the problem before it gets out of hand. You know, you stop it now while it's fairly harmless. Well, not fairly harmless. He's got 41,000 men and he's also a genius strong dragonborn. But we can stop it now before he lights the dragon fires. And a lot of you point out that apparently the dragon fires just prevent Daedric invasions from happening, like Oblivion, um, rather than actually stop us worshipping them, which does kind of make sense, all things considered. But we might want that Daedric invasion against, you know, Vivek. Speaking of which, we should probably check if he's been weakened at all by his, you know, uh, deprivation from the heart of Lorcan. But as for now, I think stealing the Amulet of Kings, we've got two way around that. Obviously, we could hire the, I don't even know if we can hire the Thieves Guild to steal it. Oh, we can? So we can hire the Kamanatong or the Thieves Guild. What's the difference? I, I honestly have no idea. They're both, they're both the same option. I guess maybe one's Thieves Guild and one's... Come on, our song. I have no idea. More to the point, we can steal the Amulet of Kings. I imagine it's going to cost us a fortune, but a fortune is exactly what we have right now. And I did ask a couple of Eskers ago, what the hell am I supposed to spend all my money on? Well, I guess there's your answer. Uh, stealing artifacts from everybody, everywhere, all over the world. Who cares if they fail? We've got the wealth. So basically, we can spend money, steal artifacts, and throw at Daedric Gods and actually speed up that process. Because I think I calculated last episode, we need, what, like 38,000 data to get, you know, all the Shea Gorath artifacts to get everything we need here. So, not only that, we also have... Becoming a pure-blooded werewolf so we can wear Hercene's armor and, and, you know, for science we can maybe find some other things. And, of course, Hercene's ring. We've got uh, Lunacy, which will give us the access to Shea Gorath's various artifacts, the Pork of Horripilation, Wabberjack. And I think an incredibly powerful Daedric Star for a dude who's a very powerful Dwemer wizard would be quite appropriate. You know, Wabberjack our enemies, 
That sounds quite fun. So we've got a lot to do. There's like genuinely a lot to do today. A lot to see. And obviously we've got to conquest the rest of Skyrim. We've got to uh, go on a big old genocide on the Dwemer sites of Numidium so we can start rebuilding that. I actually last night, by the way, was playing a little bit of Skyrim trying to get the, uh, the mod pack stable for whenever we stream it because it's still not really working. I played through a mod called Forgotten City. If you've not played that, it's very good. It's actually really impressive. It's all like time travel based on an old Dwemer city and it's got like an actual Dwemer character in it. It's, it's a really cool mod if you've not played that. Anyway, more to the point. Amulet of Kings. Do you think this is a great start? I think this is a great start. Tiber's Amulet of Kings should be mine. All I need to do to acquire it is to get a capable thief to act on my behalf. Hire the Thieves Guild. Hire the Come on a Tong. Hire a freelance thief or I've changed my mind. I imagine this is going to be quite difficult to steal. Bear in mind it is the Amulet of Kings. Uh, and also the fact that it is a tier 10 artifact. Yeah, it's quality 10, which is the same as Sunder Wrathguard and Keening, to my knowledge. Speaking of which, we're still going to get Keening as well. Um, where is that? Ke Ke Keening, Wrathguard, Sunder. There you are. Yeah, so these are quality 10 as well. They're the ones that have the sort of Daedric frame there. Right, okay. I guess the Thieves Guild, seeing as he's in Cyrodiil, they claim that their organization can easily obtain the Amulet of Kings. My God, are we the Mythic Dawn? Is our dude Mankar Camera? Mer dude. Aspirations of Godhood. Collecting artifacts. A very powerful mage. Hmm. Obviously, we're doing it quite a few hundred years earlier right now, but do it. Do it. No way did that. Cyr I wanted a bit more, wanted a bit more challenge, you know. Maybe it waited 30 days or so before it surprised us. Not instantly. Yeah, sure. How much did it cost us? Nothing. <laughs> Again, I would like to point out I am playing on the developer's build before the current release. So there may be some bugs, errors, or glitches. Or this may be in the full game. I've no idea. What's a fair price for the Amulet of Kings? Because I feel like we need to give some gold away here. What about something like... I, you know what? I'm going to pay a mighty fee to the Thieves Guild. No, who was it who stole it? Can we find out? Uh, oh, man, I should have kept that dude up. I was going to say I'll send him the gold. Right. Uh, maybe we can go to, like, Thieves Guild of Tamriel and see who's in it. I suppose that would kind of defeat the point of being part of the Thieves Guild if people knew who was there. I'm paying 5,000 gold. What did that say? Clear 5,000 gold? No, no, no. I wanted to do uh, cash. Minus 5,000. A hefty price to pay for a hefty amulet. Where is it? Can we even use it? You have to be dragon blood, don't you? Uh, wow. Any possessed blood? Oh, shit. So if we have the bloodline as well? I mean, obviously that's pointless for us because we can't breed into that. Wow, what a what an artifact. Can we... This may be a mistake. Hercene? Uh, how would you like, my friend? A useless trinket. A piece of jewelry that's been handed down... No, we can't... I don't think you can give away quality 10 artifacts. I think the count is indestructible, obviously. Okay. I mean, that's a hell of a thing to start the episode off with. Hmm. I hope the Thieves Guild isn't bugged. So, could we go to, like, Vivek, for example, see what he's got in his treasury? He's got Daedric Armor. Right, we're going to steal that from Vivek. So, steal Artifact, Daedric Armor. He's got it worn, so you'd assume that the Cam on a Tongue wouldn't just be able to nib it straight off his shoulders or whatever, but we'll give it a go. Okay, they failed, but it didn't charge us any money. Why did it not charge us any money? Come on a Tongue. Do it. Curses. Wait, let's try the bottom option this time. I'm thinking maybe one of the... There we go. The top option is bugged. That's what it is. Um, I need to find out what's caused that and maybe turn it off. I wonder how much it would have cost us for the amulet things. I, I feel like 5,000 gold is a fair price, though. Right. No, nothing. Okay, so make sure we use the bottom option for fairness and gameplay sake. Otherwise, we're going to be just... You know, it's just it's too easy to game that. Right, okay. First things first. Let's spend some money on getting some retinues. So I said basically last episode, Technomancers are absolutely the right way to go, seeing as we have four magical training that gives all of our Battle Mages bonus offense. Same to our Arch Mages as well. And they're Dwemer Technomancers, so they're already much more powerful than your regular Mage anyway. Apparently Technomancers were the strongest Mages. I guess besides, I don't know, the Sigic Order, because those boys are going to, like, kime it up. Anyway, let's get those ones. Um, let's put these boys on the boat. And let's bring them over. Obviously, Kaim is uh, in the Elder Kings, like, um, how would I describe it? Sort of like the equivalent of Nirvana in Buddhism, not the 90s grunge band, or sort of the equivalent of like pure enlightenment, true enlightenment, or something like that, which is supposedly what Vivek achieved. Um, and there are some other. Well, who else was it? I don't remember. Anyway, it's, it's all like proper Elder Scrolls, you know, extended universe lore that honestly is a little bit ridiculous. Like it's a little bit crazy and doesn't really fit into the universe very well. But uh, yeah, that's essentially what that is. Now, I do want to stay within the sort of traditional Dwemer diaspora, which to my knowledge was just almost exclusively the northern part of the map. There's actually some theories in lore that the Dwemer and the Falmer came from Atmora or descended from a completely separate set of elves. 
Because most of the elves on, on Tamriel, or actually, in fact, almost all of them came, came from Aldmeri, which is another continent sort of like the uh, the Undying Lands in the Lord of the Rings world. So they, they landed in Alnor first and then spread out from there. But supposedly the Dwemer and the Falmer, this is just a theory, by the way, so take this with a grain of salt, descend from a completely separate uh, line of 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 elves. Um, what have you got? Why have I got... Oh, right, they're Ghost Fleet. Got it. They're, they're Ghost Fleet. Don't worry about it. So this is all retinues now, huh? That's pretty good. That's actually not a bad retinue size. 800 Dwemer Techno Mages is quite significant. Bearing in mind, they get the bonuses and our magical training as well. So these boys are definitely going to hold it down. I think with Raccoon Thunch leading them along with, obviously, some regular troops as well, we're going to be quite a force in war. Speaking of which, maybe we should go to war now. Now, we've, we've basically neutered Tiber Septim, right? He cannot get coronated, to my knowledge, as the Emperor of Cyrodiil. Or, or form the Empire of Cyrodiil, or whatever his equivalent Empire-level title is, without the Amulet of Kings. More importantly, he can't like the Dragonfires, which is obviously great news for us if we want to bring in an invasion. So I think we should probably divert our efforts, like I was saying, to purely the Dwemer provinces, which was Skyrim a little bit, High Rock, and Morrowind, more importantly. And then maybe send a Daedric God after Cyrodiil instead, so that, you know, the Dwemer are the undisputed masters of what they've got. Because the Dwemer one you know, lived in big old underground cities, so I don't think making the world's largest empire is really on their list of things to do, but keeping other people weak so that we don't get a repeat of what happened at the Battle of Red Mountain, and obviously their, their disappearance wouldn't be such a bad idea. Right, why am I putting commanders in charge of this? Uh, I guess to cancel out attrition that we might be hit by? Um, this option is available because you're still malnourished? Uh, he is. What? How can we not it's none of my business. It's a shame there's no way to prevent ourselves from being malnourished. It also doesn't make sense, seeing as he is brawny and strong, that he would also be malnourished. I, th I think that's such a weird system. Um, I need to warn him as politely as possible. Can somebody please... C what about Spellbook? Can we Spellbook a cake into our mouth? Put one of those sweet rolls? Um, let me guess. Someone stole all of our sweet rolls, which is why we're malnourished. Nothing. All right, let's not worry about that. We've got literally so many more important things to do, and I'm concerned about our dude not eating enough. First things first, then. I think we'll focus on her scene to start off with, because her scene actually has less artifacts. Shagorath, we want to claim, um, we want to claim the Fork of Horripilation, the Charity of Madness, and Wabberjack, whereas her scene just has, well, her scene also has three things to claim, but Lycanthropy is actually very, very cheap, and we've already got the Unicorn. So I think we'll go for her scene first, and just sort of throw all of our things at him. Then we can get rid of him and, and take Dwemer again, with Shagorath being our secret sort of, uh, worshipper behind the scenes. So, let's chuck some stuff at him. Now, to my knowledge, we got all of those uh, artifacts from last time from our ruins. We got, like, a Dwemer puzzle cube and things like that. Which is kind of useless to us, but he might be in into them. Um, oh, yeah, what's the Pensa Magic loot? We also got that one. I never actually looked at it. So let's just check here. Dwemer puzzle cube, we don't want. It, as, as, it is a good artifact, but it's not fantastic because it takes power special slot, which is what we're using for a lot of Dwemer schematics. Amulet Domination is good, but not really for us so much. Um, seeing as we're a necromancer, which I believe has already killed our fertility, along with being immortal and interracial marriage and all that other crap, so we won't worry about that. We've got enough kids as it is. You know, the, the Raccoon Tunch, or the, the class the Rugen house is, is thriving. Maybe when it starts going a little more extinct, we might want to work on that. Um, so I'll happily throw in the Puzzle Cube, the Amulet of Dominations, I think we've got two of those. Pentamagic Loop gives learning plus three, that's actually pretty good. What have we got equipped as the ring? Ring of Lordship that gives Vassal Opinion plus 10 that I think we'll need to control the Nords when we start genociding their people, which we're going to do in a minute. Let's go to the Warlocks running, which is essentially just that, but better. Gives Learning plus 3 along with a bunch of other like military base bonuses as well. We've got Common Rouncy, which I'm probably going to chuck at him. Maybe he can turn into another Unicorn. We've got another Amulet of Domination, yeah. So we'll just quickly launch those at Hercene. I think Hercene would be into an Amulet of Domination. That seems to be his sort of thing, right? You know, being a big old hunter, one species dominating the other, that type of thing. Uh, careful, Ned. Right, do I have a puzzle cube? There we go. And uh, let's throw him. We've got two of these. What have we got? Amulet. They're worth 300 each. This isn't bad. So, do we want to become a werewolf immediately? Because we've actually got enough ladder for that. And then I think the older you are, the more powerful you become. Or am I thinking of a different mod? No, I'm almost certain it's this mod. Ask for a boon. For science, we are going to become a werewolf dwemer. I think this is. Exactly the th type of thing the Dwemer would do. Make deals with the Daedra, push their powers as much as possible, get as much as... Uh, well, I mean, it's documented that they would do that. Get as much out of it as possible. Hercene can grant you the power of Beast Blood if you are deemed worthy. Oh. Oh, so it's like a quest. Oh, this is cool. 
Your summoning was true. Hersine responded immediately. So, mortal, you wish to carry beast blood, he asked. There are many reasons a hunter may triumph over prey. One of those reasons is ingenuity, which we've got a lot of. Spear, bow, axe, sling, other weapons are all tools to success to the hunt. So too is lycanthropy, yet it's much greater. But beware, many will envy you. If your ability is, re is revealed, you may become prey for other hunters. But if you're ready, I'll reveal you to a place where you can find a once proud hunter. Now lame and harmless, but able to transmit lycanthropy. What do you say? I'm ready. Let's do it. Hersine provided me with the directions to an isolated little-known cave, and I travelled there. I noticed blood near the entrance, and after I entered, I was attacked by a lycanthrope. It was already badly wounded and feebly lunged at me and bit me. I easily dispatched the creature, but nothing else of note- uh Oh. Oh, is that it? Note of cave on the left, that must have been the beast Hersine was referring to. So it's bitten us. That's all we had to do, was just, just get bitten by a werewolf, and now we wait? Okay. This could be cool. So, do we want to actually go to war with, like, the Cyrodelic Empire or something? Because we do actually still have that, uh, they've got 11,000 men. I think we probably should. Oh, my God. Empress Ignor, daughter of demons of the Cyrod. It, it overflows, and then it still doesn't fit. Right, so... Oh, de Jesus, why would I say that? Okay, so... I think we should still conquer Skyrim. I think we should just do it now. Because Skyrim have started to grab some of the other stuff, right? Or they've at least grabbed, uh, what is that, Riften? Silgrad, just outside of Riften. And they've also grabbed Ravenstead. So... We're still at peace with Skyrim, so we're, we're going to have to use the classic sort of chicken assassination technique. The patented chicken assassin, assassination technique. Not invented by me. And they've also got dragon blood. So this war might also give us a good few prisoners to throw at the Daedra as well. Right, and more to the point, we've got like 40,000 men. So I think this is going to be fairly easy. Um, although, the issue is, I've got to bear in mind a lot of these trips are actually on Dwemereth. On the Isle of Solstheim, I should say. So, getting them onto the mainland can sometimes be a pain in the ass. We'll just get as many as we can can onto the boats. I want to leave, like, I think leaving 7,000 men home is probably a good idea. Aha. Uh -huh. That was a quick turnaround. This evening, I felt a strange sensation. I felt compelled to leave my abode and tread into the wilderness, far away from the prying eyes of civilization. Once I was alone, I transformed into a wondrous creature, and I could sense incredible strength and hunger. I am now a lycanthrope. I've successfully suppressed rebellions and sentiments. In oh, in Markarth. Right, yeah, because of course we are trying to do a cultural conversion on Markarth. Um, which now sits at... Let's take a look here. Um, so martial law is given from Boris minus 50%, but we've also got foreign enclaves. I'm thinking we crank up the genocide. As weird as that sounds. So we go to like, uh, so what was it? Bleak Wall, which is another site of Numidium. Then convert provincial culture. Why can't we do that? Oh, we have to be at peace. I'm thinking we just go full put into the sword. We, I want I want Numidium. Honestly, I really want Numidium. Numidium's already in the game, so that's something that we can still uh, we can still do. And I think Numidium versus Vivek is the showdown we've all been waiting for, right? I think I think that would be very very fun. All right, let's do it. Serana is my wife. Yet yeah, does not know I am a lycanthrope. I mean, pot kettle. She's also a vampire. It's time to explain my condition to her. Serana. She believed my confession and didn't take it well at all. Pushing me away, calling me a monster. We become bitter rivals. What? I'm in my bedchamber when I sense an immediate transformation. Instinctively, I look out the window and I'm dazzled by the moons. Soon, I'm overcome with the urge to hunt and destroy. I've got a suggestion for you. Uh, it may be Serana. It's time to feast. Checks our intrigue skill. Well, that's fine. I rip open the chicken coop and devour the birds one after another. Amidst the commotion, I hear a creak of a farmhouse door to the side. My appetite satiated, I make a hasty retreat. So, as long as we've got high intrigue, I guess there's a low chance of us being caught. And 44 intrigue. Thank God we took Master Agent. I think we're good. So, we're just a hidden lycanthrope right now. So what does that give? Personal combat skill plus eight. Okay, not as much as I thought, but I guess you're not actually like transformed into a werewolf at the point. You know, you might be fighting jewels. Health plus three, irrelevant. I can't believe she hates us for that, saying that she's a friggin' vampire. You know what? I'm done with. It. I'm done with her. Honestly, let's get rid of her. Kidnap character. Let's send her off to the gods. I'm sure they'll be interested in a three thousand five hundred year old daughter of, uh, you know, Molag Bell. Essentially, let's be honest. They call them the daughters of Cold Harbor, don't they? Right. Merge, get on the boats. We'll leave, we'll leave those 11,000. They'll be good for a home defense force if somehow Cyrodiil gets some boats. I mean, they do have the whole of elsewhere, don't forget. So it's not like we're fighting a particular... Oh, God, they've got all of this as well. Oh, man, I thought that was still Morrowind. Who is that? That's House... House Croissant. Classic. I thought that would be House Croissant, but no, instead it's it's Cyrodiil all the way down. All the way from, like, basically, you know, the border of Vardenfell. They're down right into Argonia. And this dude's a Nord? Other... other... We've got a Cyrodelic Nord of a Khajiit Argonian province. Yep, welcome to uh, welcome to this playthrough. What are they slowed up to then? I did want to check these guys out. Uh, did she actually just... Oh, she just outed us. Did she just... I just wanted to look at my slowdy friends. 
While attending court, Sarana approached me with a booming voice and pointed a finger at my face. You, Rakung Thunch, are a lycanthrope, and I have proof. Of course, it would be difficult to prove such an accusation against me, against one so weak. Sarana begins to fling insults at me, accusing me of meekness. Each successive insult makes me angrier and angrier. I can feel the beast blood call out to me, compelling me to take action. We can rip her apart, but obviously it will out us. It's a general opinion minus her hundred. Um... I really, really want to go, like, berserk on her. And, and go lycanthrope. General opinion minus 100 when we have an entire kingdom of people that we're trying to displace under us. Oh, shit. That's a hard choice, I'm going to be honest. For now, for now, if you guys think I should maybe go for werewolf to throw a real spanner in the works... Maybe we will, but for now, owing to your high intrigue and diplomacy, you convince the court there's nothing more in a bruise. I do want to sacrifice it, because I think it should be worth plenty of points. Man. Someone else is trying to kidnap her as well, so that works pretty well in our favor. Like, let's invite everyone to our plot. I assume there's a lot of people who probably want in on this. Yeah, fair amount. So let's also... Oh no, some mysterious character has turned her into a chicken. Whatever will we do? If only we had the mana to not turn her into a... And where is it? Poly polymorph? This, this menu could be a little better, I will admit. It, it's really confusing. Maybe even like little icons. Although it's a fair amount of work. Like little icons would just make it a little easier on the eyes. Polymorph chicken. Few days as a chicken won't hurt the target. As we know, it actually lasts a few months. That gives us her intrigue. And that means that she's very susceptible to be kidnapped. Um, I'm actually going to send some gifts to people as well. Seeing as we've got a decent amount of gold. We're actually running out. But a decent amount of gold. It's an amulet of kings. Look at that. That's what we were after with that one. Boom. 400%. I think that'll do. I don't think we need to invite anyone else. Now, fingers crossed, that should be enough to get rid of her. Um, oh, fishing ships, right? Because we're at war. Oh, God, we're at war, and I'm just sat here, like, turning Serana into a chicken. Uh, where, are, where are my men? Oh, they're still on the boats. Um, let's go land here. Simply because... Oh, no, let's land here. Wait, that's ours? Oh, yeah, Bleat Rock is ours, because obviously we conquered the whole of Skyrim. Land here. Merge the troops. Their movement locked. They now have to take a straight crossing into almost the same amount of dudes, led by... That's right, it's your boy, Raccoon Punch. They've got to take a straight crossing into a dude with 57 Marshall. Th this is suicide for them, but there's nothing they can do about it. This is why movement lock is, uh, I do like it. And that's that uh, extra layer of strategy, I guess. Right. Now, obviously, the downside is we do have slightly less morale, but with this dude in charge, I'm really not concerned. Absolutely melted him. 8,000 men dead. Uh, who died? My son. Bar my My son. Rakung Thunch. My son died. No. Leaves on the... Vi right, that's it. Get rid of him. Who who did that? He was so good. He was our genius perceptive feb. Oh, I'm... S he was a great character and now he's dead. Who was it? Where is he? Baron Rorlach. For crimes committed. Get yeeted. We're, we're sending him straight up to Stovacor. No, where are we sending him? Hersene. What's his hunting ground called? Hang on. The, the fucking hunting grounds. My dude's very original. Alright, get out of here. Baron, goodbye. Hercene will hunt you for eternity. Also, we had dragon blood, so that was, uh... I don't know, I guess every cloud has a silver lining, huh? My good son is dead. I'm so upset by that. Because, basically, I was like, we could play a little bit loose, a little bit reckless, a little bit careless, going like necromancer lycanthrope, seeing as we have a great heir. But now I feel betrayed. Who's our heir now? A fucking smelly... Si what? Auriel? A smelly, Auriel, lazy idiot. Fantastic. <gasps> a carriage ride in the countryside can be so peaceful, so relaxing, and so far away from the prying eyes of city guards. It provides an excellent opportunity to launch a kidnapping against Queen Serana, the unchaste, chicken, vampire, ancient chicken, vampire, Dwemer. Let's kill her. Excellent indeed. Oh, well, now plays this dude. Oh, some other one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was going to say, it's okay, we're safe. Someone else has been elected. Uh, it's an inbred novice magistrate. Simply the Daedric cult, so can't blame him for that one. Oh my god, he's absolutely... He's worse than the last dude. Impressively enough, he's worse than the last dude. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, wait, no, someone else has been elected. Who is it this time? It's back to that idiot. I suppose we better vote. I mean, as unlikely it is for us to die, I think we better vote. Oh my god, Saran is on the list. Not for long, she won't be. So we've got a choice of a slovenly elven idiot... A slovenly, okay, or I should say Oriel. Oriel idiot. Or the inbred. Honestly, the inbred is the best choice here. Oh, but he's also inbred. 
To be fair, with these dudes, we can just reconvert. I'm actually going to go for... Oh, they're both terrible. I mean, Journeyman Major, at least he can improve. I'm going to vote for him. <sighs> Great. Nice. She's in the confines of my dungeon. Okay. I'll teach you for making people think that I'm a, a tyrant. Get out of here. She's worth 25 Arda. Why? She's not worth anything. Is it because she's a chicken? I suppose we are literally sending a chicken to a to a Daedric god here. Let's wait until she becomes a uh, lady again. And then we will, you know, then, then we'll then we'll get rid of her. Right, okay. So let's actually go to war with Cyrodiil now. That was a nice little distraction, but but time to actually do something. Right, move along, team. Do you want to put our boats down? Or do, more specifically, do you want to pick up more troops? No, I don't think we need to. Maybe we could pick up half. Just to get some sieging done. Because otherwise this war may drag on for quite a while. Right, get on the boats. Merge merge these. Get on the boat. Oh, 16 votes, 12,000 men. <laughs> How much CK2 have I played? Um, about about two or three. Right. And Old God's Uprising. Uh, the Old God's re re Reach Faiths. Okay. Uh, Debella, Mara, Meridia, Azura, Hercene, and Periite. Uh, wait, did that say their holy book was the Mysterian Xarxes? What? Uh, was it the Mysterian Xarxes? Am I going crazy here? That's not the book written by Mankar Cameron. Oh, no, you know what? Manco Cameron wrote the commentary on the Mysterium Zarxes, didn't he? So I guess that is just the, the, the Holy Book of the Deidre or something. I've never actually considered it before. All right, multiple point. Getting distracted. Let's take out these boys. I'm glad I'm actually bringing troops over then. Oh, God, shit. That might be a lot. Oh, that is a lot. Right, Rakungtunch. Let's send him to deal with the revolts. Cyrodiil is, is like, weak little babby. So these boys are going to take no time at all. Let's get those other boats from the mainland down. These boys I'm probably going to split when we get closer and we'll just carpet siege and get this war done as soon as possible. My god, Rakung don't chores ass, huh? Look at this dude go. What's his movement modifier? Um, plus 96%. Wow. Oh, it's the unicorn. That's incredible. I mean, this was in the bag. It's a peasant revolt. I mean, we've also got Rakung Tunch, 10,000 men. I'll, even if they reinforce. Yeah, no, we've, we've just smashed them. Get out of here with that. Go on, leave. Now, most of the point, these boys can immediately just head south and start sieging Cyrodiil immediately. So that's fine. And it's actually part of the war goal as well. Not just like some random crappy province. Good. Okay, get out of here. King Revolt, King, King Revolt of Dwemereth. Yep, that's his new name now. Call me King Revolt. All right. What else have we got for you then? Is Serana... Oh, we've got some, we've got some prisoners, but we'll deal with them in a minute. I've got to wait for Serana to not be a chicken. Can I cure her... A, a chicken dumb. Her, chi her chickenism. Her foulness. Um, remove curse. I guess we... Uh, do we not have enough mana? Oh, we've got 86. We're definitely not that. Okay, so we can't remove curse. Um, how do we... Polymorph chicken? Maybe if we cast it again? Nope, we can make her another chicken. Uh, <laughs> I actually have no idea what... To, sure. Uh, we can... St season artifact. What's she got? Spell drink her amulet. Well, that didn't help out, did it? Alright, we're in Falkreath. We're, we're fighting King uh, Julio the, the shitty of Falkreath. What happened? Are you a pope? Renowned jewel is jewel victory. I guess we'll never know what's happened there. <laughs> it's covered in just like literal feces. Well, you know what? Whatever he's into, I won't judge. Well, I'll judge a little bit with that one because that one's uh, toe in the line, right? Okay, you guys head over there. We'll reinforce this very small force just in case we want to see like cross Frost Crag Spire or something like that. I love that Frost Crag is a province. Just like a single tower in the mountains. That's great. All right. And basically, it's just a case of carpet sieging now. We've got this one in the bag. I'm just kind of concerned that while they're capital is sieged by Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim must be at war for them to take back. Probably. Just to guess it. Skyrim. So that's understandable. Right. We quickly assault all these down. Kill Skyrim's army so that they can't take any more war score away from us. Right. Kill him. Can we actually count siege the capital? No, we can't. Who are they sieged by? Um... Valentina's host. And where is she? She's not. Where are her armies, more importantly? Some random necromancer woman. Uh, she has no land. I was thinking we could raid them, become hostile, and crush their troops. And that way this would become on siege. But unfortunately, it's not possible until they actually grab some land. Nice. Prisoners. Prisoners for the Daedra is always good news. Taking over the siege. That's good as well, because they've got a pretty decent garrison here. Do I want to assault that? Maybe not. Maybe we'll just wait. There we go. Nice. Okay, 41%. Again, it's just a case of getting a lot of carpet sieging done. We'll assault down where we can just to prevent, you know, that, that uprising or whatever it was. The uh, the adventurer ruining things. Got a lot of round management creeping in at the top here. In fact, let's go for tech advances. Magical training. Wait, do we not... Oh, no, it's magical infrastructure we need for new media. Magical, magical infrastructure 5 specifically. Okay. So it's going to be a while before we unlock that one, unfortunately. Um... I mean, what do we want for... I mean, tolerance is actually probably not a bad plan. I think we're going to have to go for that until we can wipe out all these goddamn smelly Nords. All right. Get out of here, team. Morgate, what have they got? What is... Oh! 
Oh. I was like, why are we getting so many of these events? Um, I wonder why. What did we inherit? What's the What did I take? Folk, folk. Oh, uh, oh, we've inherited Anselburn. That's what it is. Um, are you a Dwemery friend? You are. Grand Lantern, congratulations, my friend. You get the Principality of... Still, still not enough, huh? Varstad. What else we got? Uh, Glamdring. We've got Frostmouth, Glenshul. Gallo Rock? What is Gallo Rock? Uh, Morven Scar. Okay, we don't want that one, so we give that. Oh, we've inherited Morven Scar as well. Oh, that's confusing. Hey, Grand Lantern title, uh, Morven Scar. That should hopefully solve our problems. Yeah, there we go. 9 out of 10. Sweet. Um, oh shit, did I just give away Elf Tand? We're good. So we got Elf Tand, we've got Bleak Wall. Oh shit, I just gave it to that dude. I, we'll worry about it later. Let this dude convert the province, because they have a, a, a different... It, it, it works differently for AI convert provinces. means we don't have to deal with many, many revolts. Getting the trait ruthless. Oh, because we're a werewolf. That's honestly not too bad. We're losing some diplomacy, but... Oh, man, our diplomacy is so bad. Um, that's what I say with that with 30 diplomacy. Vassal opinion plus 5, being ruthless? I guess it's because they're kind of a little bit scared of us. Oh, she's not a, she's not a, a chicken. I was going to call her a dog then. Um, okay, offer an artifact. No, 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 she's not an artifact. She is a human being with thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Not for much longer, though. Get rid of her. Goodbye, my wife. I mean, the alliance was gone anyway, so who really cares? Um, why don't we find someone nice to marry? Have we got, like, a, a, a granddaughter or something? You got any more of those granddaughters? Well, you, you'll do. Uh, oh, fuck, it's her with it. Wait, she's unmarried. She actually legitimately is. Ranch marriage, her too nice. There we go. Who would have thought that this character... Chulin HTTPS Twitter.com slash blah 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 would be the one that we would end up marrying. The one with the stupidest name ever. In my defense, I was trying to copy and paste her name and that's what was on my clipboard, so you know. Okay, that's perfect. Oh shit, there's their army. Oh shit, okay, right, we need to chase those down because that's basically just war score running away. Uh, I do, do think Serana's skull would look fine on my mantelpiece. Enemy of my enemy is my friend, or we've become rivals with King Harkon. I like the idea of that. I like the idea that he found out what we did to his daughter and now he hates us. Plus, you know, we want to maybe take... Has he got Ravenspring? His capital is another site of Numidium. Is it not also a holy site for the Dwemer religion? Hang on. Uh, not that it's going to help us because we are... Uh, no, it's not. So the holy site's for... Wait. Uh, wait. How do we see our religious holy sites? Because that's clearly not working. That thinks that our holy site is here? Is it? <laughs> I mean, actually, is it? No, it's not. Uh, oh, you know what? It's because we are her scene, obviously. Okay. Um, we have to find a ruler of... There we are. Ruler of Dwemer. No? Ruler of Dwemer? I don't know. Doesn't matter too much. Right. Okay. So, let's... Where have they gone? Chase them down. Rakungtunch, get on this one, my dude. Because he will actually be able to catch them. Oh, there we go. With his with his unicorn. Who said this? Why would you do that? Why would you immediately... Okay. Well, you know what? They've caught us, so that's great. A local friar is petitioning you to donate your family relic? You must be joking. You must be joking. Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Um, can we just stay here? Yeah, let them come to us. She's leading the army herself. You absolute please get in my prison. Another dragonborn empress would make for a good sacrifice. Nothing. But that was good nonetheless. That was, that was great. We come down their armies. We're so fast. Do you see that? We're so fast that they're now attacking into us. We beat them there. 100% war score. There we go. Thank you very much for these tidy, tidy borders. That looks good. We've just got to go to war against Skyrim again, who is now basically Hammerfell. That seems a lot. All right, troops down. Now, I think we've got a lot of round management to do as well. This is getting pretty ridiculous. Um, what do we inherit? So we've got, like, um, Fal Falkreath. Falkreath isn't one, though, is it? I can't remember whether... Oh, I swear that holy site was working last time I checked. Yeah, there we go. So we can see it there. So we've got Anselvund. We've got Arkwind. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can sort of see there. Ravenspring is one of our capitals. Same with Markarth. Where's the fifth one? So there you go. So Bodrum, Arkwind, Raven Spring, and Bleakwall, right? So that's what we need for for Numidian, but that is going to be quite some time yet. And there's a, a lot of other things associated with it as well, unfortunately. Right, good. A lot of things achieved. We stole the Amulet of Kings. We became a werewolf. We sacrificed our wife up to her scene. Speaking of which, have we got anything we can sacrifice a prisoner? Oh, we've got some... Is it Dragon Ball? We've actually got some Dragon Ball. There's actually a lot of valuable characters kicking around here. It's going to take a while, so I'll quickly speed through that next episode. Maybe we can get, like, Savior's Hide or something, because we know we can equip that as a werewolf. And that's some pretty good armor to my knowledge. What have we got right now? Dragon Scale armor? Is it going to be better than that, though? I don't know. Seems debatable.
Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave that one there for today. If you have any suggestions for the series or for the mod, please let me know. As I said, I'm not going to be implementing any more during the rest of the series now, but I will put them in the mod uh, when it's due to go up on the workshop. It might take me a while because there have been a lot of great suggestions. I've got a lot of half-finished stuff. Uh, that I haven't been able to finish because we are midway through a playthrough and I can't finish it without breaking it. So don't expect to see it for, for a little while yet. It's, it's going to be a lot of work to get that thing done. But I'm excited for, uh, you know, the Dwemer to get a little bit of extra gameplay. Even though it's not particularly lore friendly, it's kind of difficult to recreate that in CK2. But you know who is particularly friendly? That's right. You guys know what was coming. It's gone to the wrong scene again. OBS. I did double check this as well before we start the episode, but hey-ho, who the fucking knows? Big shout out to Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidney, Tim Bragg, Lorus, Croesus, Vacuus, Backus, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pelvis Presley, Asuna Kirito, Conspired T, Jimbo, Orxwell, Fukuna Vasquez, Tom Terror 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 7011, Banyol Faust, and Eric B. Thank you all for your support at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the series going in the channel, uncensored, unfiltered, besides the second channel where apparently videos are literally being flagged and removed. And. Guess who's never going to be removed? That's right. It's Andrew... What a strange thing to say. Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, I see the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Bethemus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Der Zool, Wallen Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Euron the Breeze, Haji Dumar, Abdullah, Alpha Scuff, Don 22 and 7, Zet McDonald, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sadeth, Asro, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, Jay Lara, Peter, and Justin Plock. Thank you all for your support on Patreon as well.